Hello folks, time for another video. And shave. Well, are you as confused of the title as I am? <laughs> well, I've done many videos uh, using this particular soap that I'm only going to ask this question one more time. And I am sorry for the person who sent me the soap a while back. I forget who you were. I am sorry. But it's holy cow. No, I do say cow instead of caw, even though it's spelled caw. Because I heard the owner of the company say that. So Spice Vite, Vite, it's made with all that good stuff. You know, donkey milk, water buffalo milk, all kind of good stuff. I mean, let's get see it right there. But this soap confuses me. It's a great performer, but I can't figure out the scent. It's so, it, I don't know, it boggles my mind. I like it, but it's weird. Like, usually when I smell something, it triggers a childhood memory from us, you know, something, you know, a scent from back in my younger days or maybe not so long ago. But this one, phew, I like it. It actually has 14 different scent notes. Now, I have them all written down, but I'm not going to say I actually have them written down on my mirror. But I'm not going to uh, read them all off. I'm just going to pop it up. It'll be easier for you guys. And I can just reference that in, in a little bit. So I'm going to pop it up. And you can check it out and uh, see all those awesome scents. I mean, there's, you know, saffron, black pepper, coffee, cardamom. I mean, there's 14 different scent notes on this soap. That's why it's confusing me. And I've looked at a million, million uh, not a million, million hours, but many time on, you know, Google searching this soap out. And it seems that I'm the only one who made a video of this soap. So, I don't know. I know I know it's no longer made by uh, Holy Cow. So, but if you own this soap, please comment down below. Like, what does it remind you of? Or, hey, this kind of smells like, ugh. Or it smells like whatever. It's just confusing. And uh, kind of made this made this uh video because i definitely need to shave i've been waiting for uh, from an order from sterling but uh they got slammed with their last uh releases so i won't have that till next week but anyway so if you let me do this let me get this out of the way because i was planning on doing this like it says i love the scent of the holy cow or claw spice vite but it's just it eludes me and like you know what am i looking for <laughs> It's hard to explain. All right, anyway, gonna wet the face. Of course, the second I started recording, the lawnmower man has to be outside. Sorry about that. I even turned my air conditioning down so that wouldn't be loud, but of course, never win. I'm using the Mercure today, 38C, which the head is exactly the same as a 34C, just with a longer handle. It's a, like I said, a 34C head, not a slant, but with that nice longer handle. I had the 34C. I just more always gravitate towards the 38C because of the longer handle. I'm not a fan of shorter handles just because of my goofy fingers. Alrighty, so I'm also using the Craving Shaving Brush today. I haven't used this, this Craving Shaving Brush in a while. It has that awesome... Uh, Fanturian knot in there from that darn rob. And of course, I whipped up this all this loveliness up in the timeless bowl. And I every time I gotta do a video, there's so much background crap going on, noise and whatnot. All right, so yeah, so please, 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 I beg of y'all, if you've ever encountered this soap, I don't remember if Todd from Take Care Man has this open but I don't remember him ever telling me hey bro it smells like this this triggers no like memory of like hey you know remember that time in the field and we found that rusty can and you know stuff like that Nothing from my childhood, you know, triggers anything with the scent. 
this is a very unique scent and i'm kind of bummed that the scent isn't being produced anymore because it is unique i mean of course the lather is phenomenal it has every single skin food in there that you can imagine in fact i didn't even tell you it's in it But I know it's on the back of the container, so I can cheat. I can cheat. And it is towel-based. It does have a ton of goodies in it. The smell is very nice. Weird, but nice. And the reason why I say weird is because I just can't... I mean, when you smell like a citrusy soap or a sweet soap, you can usually say, you know what? It reminds me of this. But this soap has been, my mind, totally scrambled for years. Make here, 38C. Oh, Blade is a Balzano Supernox in here. Almost forgot. That's because this soap is melting my brain. Oh, that's so nice. Almost feels like I'm cutting the grass with this stupid lawnmower outside. Yeah, I was just gonna wait, but I know that my order won't be until next week, so I definitely gotta do a shave. I had to do a shave before then. Else I would be the itchy man in town. Like I said, I am sorry about the background noise of the lawn mower. But of course, all day it's been nice and quiet. But the, the second I go do a video, there's all this noise. And I'm doing this late on Friday. I know it's still light outside. The sun is still out, but it's going to be dark very shortly. I'm not sure if I will post this tonight. Tonight, today's Friday. Or I'll post this Saturday morning. But I might post it tonight. So you guys have something to watch. Either later tonight or tomorrow morning but i will try to get this up if it's not up friday night i will have it ready for saturday morning but i will try to get this posted by friday night if i don't i'm sorry but it will be posted and please 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 if you have this soap or have ever tried a sample of this soap? Please let me know what your thoughts on the scent was. Because I can't put my finger on any of the actual singular scents that are in the soap. It's the only soap I have that the scent confuses me and not in a bad way it's just you know I would just like to know you know like hey Glenn this smells like you know I don't know some kind of cologne from like the 50s or 60s or but then again this could be a totally unique scent that Shri Came up with it all on his own and just was like, hey. Good stuff, too. It's just the, the goodness that's in the soap. So many goodies. And I'm also bummed out that I forgot who sent me the soap. They sent me the soap and the splash. And I can't remember who sent it to me. I'm drawing a blank. 
I'm sure if I watched some of my older videos, I'm definitely sure I said it, but those videos are still on my channel, but they are like buried there. But thank you, gracious person who sent me the soap and splash. I have many soaps from Holy Cow, Cow, and I love them all. But it seems that the Spice Vite was like a hidden gem. It's like, I've searched and searched to find anybody else who used this. And all that always comes up are my YouTube videos. So I'm like, somebody else had to buy this soap that may watch my channel or, you know, Maybe you know somebody that has this soap that doesn't watch my channel. Maybe you can answer for them. <laughs> I don't know, but it's a weird one for me. But this is the last time I'm going to ask. I'm still going to use the soap. I still have a pretty good amount left. So I'm still going to use the soap. I'm just not going to ask the question anymore. Like, what does this remind you of? Because it blows my mind. This is the mystery soap for me, as far as, like I said, I like the scent. I can't put a finger on it, so I can't say, hey, you know, this smells like, you know, but maybe it was meant to be like that. Like, it's called Spice Vite, but you know, it, it has a little, you know, that spicy scent, but it's not like the spice is the entire scent, it's just... Like I said, it eludes me. It eludes my sense of, my sense of scent. If that makes any sense. But like I said, it's, it's a good scent. Just maybe because there's so many scents in the scent that it's, you know, just confusing my nose. I don't know. Always get a good shave with the 38C. And I haven't used my favorite Balzano's in a while. A few years back, that was my number one blade. It's amazing how we just change our minds as we go along this, you know, wet shaving journey of ours all right let me just wipe down my counter wow it's wet i'm gonna empty the old sea monster sink and really wipe down my counter with a oh sigmund's very very vocal today all right yeah, and I still didn't get my hair cut because my wife's been busy. All right, let's do a little cold water rinse. You know, the performance of the soap is just spectacular. Actually, I have never come across a holy cow soap that wasn't a true performer. So I beg of thee out there, if you've ever come across this soap, please let me know in the comments down below. Now, like I says, I think Todd from Take Care Man, I I'm not 100% sure, but I think he might have. Ran across this soap once or twice, but I don't remember if he commented on it. 
This soap is my, the only soap in my den of hundreds of soaps that I have that I just can't figure out. I mean, it's great performance. You know, the slickness is there, the lather's there. It's just a great soap. All right, so that was Holy Cows. Space, space, <laughs> spice for day. And please, let me know if you've ever used that. And that was the Mercure 38C, which is just like a 34, but with a longer barber pole handle. And that was the Craving Shaving Brush with that awesome Fanchurian knot in there from that darn Rob. Thanks to uh, Josh for sending me this. So let's finish this off with the matching splash. I like to splash this splash because it, I mean, it is 100% a match for the soap, which like I said, confuses me as far as scent wise. Not so good though. And if I believe correctly, the goodies of the splash are on the bottle too. I think there's something stuck to the label there. Or is that a scratch? Thought it was a hair for a second, but there is the ingredients of the splash. It's good stuff. So if you've ever run across this soap, Please let me know, and I swear this is the last time I'm going to be like, what does this remind you of? I promise. Okay, so if you like today's Spice Vate shave, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, pfft, thumbs down. And hopefully I'll get my order soon from Sterling, and I can bust out that video. Hopefully it'll be uh, soon. And thanks for subscribing, and please subscribe if you're not. Yeah, that's all I got to pretty much say. So thank you all, and until next shave, Glenn signing off.